so thank you pavitra for an a nice introduction and first of all respected chairman sri am lakshman reddy sir executive director sri ji chandrashekhar yadav sir other management members and chief guest of today's program uh, dr uh, dr devabrata sahu from clemson university usa and the chief guest of today's program dr kishanjit uh, khatua sir and the guest of honor uh, gyanaranjan kuntia and the convener of the program uh, professor sandhya kiran deans hods invited guest present media friends and uh, participant students faculty member of civil engineering department and last but not the least participant across the globe a very good morning to all of you i am dr santosh kumar patro principal of st martin engineering college whole heartedly i would like to welcome you to this online international conference which is titled as the revolutionary technology in civil engineering department it is a two days program and today we have the inauguration session followed with the parallel session for presentation and tomorrow also the schedule for presentation it is also there so first of all at the outset i would like to congratulate the department of civil engineering for arranging such a great event for the benefit of the student and the research scholar across the globe and i would like to extend my appreciation to professor sandhya kiran and her entire dynamic team because based on my knowledge goes i came to know that more than 250 papers have been received for this conference and out of that 150 papers have done the registration which is scheduled for today's and tomorrow presentation so in my principal tenure i have never seen if the department like core department like civil engineering mechanical and electrical engineering if they host a conference where the number of registrations are more than 150 so it is really a remarkable achievement and it shows the team spirit and the hard work Uh, what the department of civil engineering has done it uh, for making this event as a grand success still i could able to remember from march 2020 i think uh, if i have remembered correctly more than 10 events in one year last year the department of civil engineering had organized and all 10 events were grand success and i think this is the first international conference they have hosted in this academic year so my best wishes and appreciation to the entire team who has organized this event and i would like to bring out some of the information to the participant so first of all a congratulation to all of you because your uh, your papers have been selected by the conference organizers and you will be given an opportunity to present your work and get the feedback Uh, whatever it is all relevant to pursue your research work and the second thing i would like to mention to you that uh, we have already received an isbn number for your paper and today we are going to release that one so congratulations to all of you who are all had participated your papers have been put in place in a international conference proceeding with an isbn number which is, which will be made available for your reference very soon and third thing as the conference organizer has already assured you that the once the paper is selected by us it will be sent to different international journals which are all associated with us soon after the conference is over we will be initiating this work and there might be a requirement of your involvement also in the form of content corrections and upgradation so i request all the participant to have some patience and please cooperate with the team because it is a very massive work for us please cooperate with my team and whatever all suggestions are suggested to you please do all the changes then only it is easy for us to get it published free of cost for you all so advance congratulations for all the journal publications also whatever all it is all scheduled <clears throat> now looking into the title as the title is quite interesting you can see it as revolutionary technology in civil engineering see revolutionary technology is not only in civil engineering in all the engineering it happens but it is quite interesting to note that revolutionary technology in civil engineering so here in this point of time i would like to recall the revolutionary technology before pandemic and the revolutionary technology after pandemic see how this pandemic and the lockdown has changed the entire era of all the engineering workplaces 
same thing has happened to the civil engineering too so after this pandemic and after this lockdown there is a new era in the construction industry has also come and it is accepted and well appreciated by all the stakeholders i i am able to uh, discuss today uh, like the uh, revolutionary technology in civil engineering about some five different aspects hope it will add values to your research and you can do a impact analysis in all this area in case somebody wanted to pursue the research in those areas too see the after pandemic whatever all research work was carried out and till today this is called as digital construction see digital uh, media digital marketing and digital uh, social media all these things we were well aware so what is called a digital construction see the dig digital construction is again there are many technology which are all introduced in the field of civil engineering so one of the technology i could able to recall now that is named as beam beam is your building information modeling in the building information modeling uh, it is a de facto technology in construction and nowadays Uh, as already you know that we have a cloud computing so cloud computing is integrated with the beam technology and remotely anywhere anybody can trace or track the project status which can be accessed remotely from any point of time so earlier what any construction work is going on we have to go physically and see the status and along with the qis standards and whatever all different dimensions and parameters are prescribed now with this cloud based bis we could able to remotely monitor the progress of the work and the second thing i could able to uh, recall which is a very interesting character of digital construction that is named as digital twin so what is the digital twin it is a virtual representation of a building that collects real world information about the structure by using the sensors so before the construction itself we will able to get the real data if the physical construction will be available in that particular area what are all changes impacts and what are all data so we are supposed to get it after construction that we could able to get it before the construction by using a technology named as digital twin and there was a great words in computer science that is your augmented reality and virtual reality when it started almost 10 12 years before it was widely used by the a uh, computer science and engineering department in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning but after this pandemic i could able to see and witness that these two technologies are widely accepted and used by the civil engineer in the process of digital construction so what exactly it happens so customer can feel the structure and visualize the element of the design by using the augmented reality and virtual reality and the next technology of this digital construction i could able to recall that is your geo enabled technology so by using this geo enabled technology the location data for decision making by using there is a technology called lidar by using the lidar it can be accessed and a drone it is already known to everyone and many of you would have seen that for online digital asset tracking we are using and the last point i would like to discuss about the digital construction is the 3d printer so by using this 3d printer we could able to see that the building itself can be created or constructed so these are all what i feel uh, there is a great revolution which has all happened in the digital in the digital construction mainly in the civil engineering department so i hope some of you might be pursuing the research or development work in this technology and then definitely i request all of you which these are all new eras which you can think of and put your interest and time and see that how in the best way we can use it adopt it and bring the changes for the society what we are looking for after this pandemic so at the outset i would like to extend my gratitude to 
to our chief guest of today's program. I think uh, Dr. Devabrat Sahu will be joining soon, and I would like to extend my gratitude and thankfulness to Dr. Kishanjit Kumar Khatwa sir, who is a professor of civil engineering department from NIT Raurkela. And uh, as uh, we know, sir, how his schedules will be so busy. There are a lot of research scholar he is having under his guidance, and uh, more than I think 10 or uh, 15 scholars are there. and also he is taking care of sponsored research project from the government of india and uh, other agencies and all so we know sars busy schedule not only in academic also in research and in administration we are really grateful and thankful to you sir uh, for giving your consent to be the chief guest for this program and there were lot of insights what we have got it from your last advice and in your last talk and we are looking forward to listen to you with a great interest to learn something from you and also to take our civil department to the pinnacle of success so i would like to extend my thankful to dr gyanaranjan khuntia also who has uh, you know uh, like a pillar for us and all the day 24 into 7 he has supported us for the all the support whatever it is all required and even though he is busy because he has to pursue his research work and also the academic work so he has given his kind kind consent to be with us and spend some time with us and enlighten us with his upgraded knowledge and finally i would like to extend my thankfulness to dr sandhya kiran and the entire faculty members of civil engineering department and the student of civil engineering department who has taken all interest and effort to make this event successful so at the outset i would like to wish all of you all the very best and have a nice presentation and uh, no be succeed in your career and life thank you for listening to me and all the very best have a great day ahead thank you